This is cake ball. <laughs> Love it. And you do what we do. You should watch this show because kickball is the only thing you care about, and the Ad Rock show is the only show you want to watch all day. That's a shocker. <laughs> this show is brought to you by CustomMake.com. Get your official custom outfit for Kickball 365. What's up, Evan? Hey, Ad Rock? Hey, guys. Man, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I know, man. It's been too long. You guys ready for this weekend? Absolutely, man. Yeah, it's well, about time. It's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's been talking on the forums about who's going to win, who's going to lose, who's got the better team. Um, but uh, I don't know. Oakley, why don't you tell us what's going on this week and tell the uh, folks in the audience what, what well, they're Well, Saturday, May 21st uh, in Virginia Beach, we have uh, the Virginia Beach Kickball Open uh, taking place at Red Wing Park. We got 14 teams uh, battling for a big cash prize. Um, it's looking to be an outstanding event, uh, real serious uh, depth of talent. Um, there's going to be no easy road for, uh, for any teams. Uh, and it's looking to be a, a barn burner. So we're psyched for this one. Yeah. Ad-Rock, you coming down? I'm not going to make it down, unfortunately. You just let the right. cat out of the bag. I was going to let everyone sit there and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't make it down. I gotta, I gotta busy. I gotta keep the fans happy up here for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed about it. Well, uh, I'm glad you've got yourself a glass of wine, a nice oh, tie. I lit a candle. I'm good, man. <laughs> so, um, what's with these pools here? They're new to me. Well, actually, I like it. Though. Well, who's going to be coming out to this tournament? Well, how many teams we got? And where are they from? We have 14 teams. Um, I guess let's take them one at a time. Uh, we, they're they're seated, so we can go in order. Uh, at number one, uh, the perennial favorite, uh, Panic Attack from uh, Virginia Beach. Uh, this is their home tournament. Um, you know they are reloaded with some new talent and uh, looking to defend their home turf. They got upset in a bad way in the Virginia Beach tournament last year, so they're they're going to be looking to avenge that loss. Now, oh, let me ask: Is this the same PA team we saw down in Florida? Uh, I mean, I for the so. most part, but with a, a couple of new additions, uh, they added uh, Tiki Tyler. Uh, former catcher uh, for the Tiki Titans out of Virginia Beach. Kids okay. uh, lights out bunner, uh, real speed guy, and an outstanding catcher uh, to back up Trey uh, or even start over him. Um, and they added uh, the uh, the legendary sleeveless Dan. Um, yeah, that's that's a huge pickup. Uh, I I mean I think that's going to be big for uh, freeing up uh, Dan the pitcher to go back to uh, his spot on the mound. Um, so I don't know how they're going to use him, uh, but uh, you know I know how I would, uh, and he's a big pickup on offense and defense. Definitely. Sorry. Go ahead. What else we got? Uh, number two, fully loaded. Uh, we've seen these guys at the top of uh, you know every bracket uh, the, the uh, in the last couple of months. Uh, they're a solid team. Um, a friend of the podcast, Casey, coaching that squad. Uh, we're trying to get him on tonight. Uh, but hopefully we we'll get them on to the next uh, the next podcast. To you, uh, we'll get them for the breakdown. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. So those guys are going to be nasty, uh, as always. Uh, Adrock, you played uh, fully loaded in pool play in SFKO on Insight? Yeah, um, I think they might have played one of their best games of the day against us. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. I felt like I felt like um, girl. Their girls are good. That's hyped up a lot. Um, I thought their defense was good. Um, Offense is is pretty good, pretty pretty immediate. The top guy, I like the top guy. He's also their catcher. Yeah, I think he got on twice against us. Um, they just got speed. They know the game. A lot of them have a baseball background, so uh, they know what they're doing on the bases. They know the situational plays. But I think they're gonna they're gonna hold it down for Florida without the meatballs being there. Uh, they're a long ball team, right? Do they kick away a lot against you guys? I've, I've heard a lot about them. Uh, and, um, they did. They they kicked away a lot. That's how they scored their runs. Actually, they they kicked and let our outfield make the mistakes. And uh, awesome. And that's what seems to be happening now in the circuit with the ball, the new ball. Makes it much more exciting, I think. Yeah. yeah. We, we practiced uh, OSC from Washington D.C. and IB and Motus and kind of combined squads on Sunday this past weekend. We saw a lot of kicking. 
um, folks will definitely take advantage of the uh, the open field. I like it. Yeah. Got right. number three. Uh, it's just PI squaring out of New York. They were down in Florida. Uh, a got a lot. Of, what was that? I said that's a high seed. That's a high that seed. That is a high seed. They better back it up. A lot of mouths on that team, so <laughs> we're hoping they bring it more than one way. I'm sure De uh, Dematis will guarantee something. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the bets. Uh, yeah, I mean he'll he'll be bringing his hitters. I I, I think uh, you know they got some solid talent on that squad. I, hey, they could go a, a, a number of different ways. They had they had a pretty decent showing. Uh, at, at in South Florida, except for the part where they got mercy ruled by uh, M2S. Hell yeah! Uh, so, but nobody talks about that much. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, those guys—they got some nasty talent on that team uh, under some uh, veteran leadership. So, uh, I, you know what? I think they'll play up to their seed. Uh, you know, whether they are going to take it to the final and uh, and uh, you know possibly threaten to win this thing. Remains to be seen, but they definitely have the tools to do it, so we'll see if it, if it comes together. Very cool. Then, number four, we got the situation. Uh, skeleton of a former um, former heavyweight on the scene. Looking these, forward to these guys are not to be trifled with. Uh, be I, I think uh, that they are a team that either will not show up and won't be much of a threat or will crush big teams. Uh, I mean, I think... Uh, their pitcher, Blake, is off the charts. Uh, he's one of the hardest to kick pitchers in kickball. Um, their, their catcher uh, is one of the best in the game, uh, incredible athlete. Uh, he's also their leadoff guy. Uh, I, I think if these guys can get their offense going, I, I think Blake is going to keep them in every game. Um, and, you know, I think uh, they're, they're not to be taken lightly. Uh, we certainly won't be. Yeah, uh, IB is in that pool, uh, pool B, which we'll get to in a second, and I'm I'm pretty sure we'll likely see situations. So we're definitely looking forward to it. That that'll be a good game. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, this reloaded IB squad. Uh, we'll get to them at uh, at the low number six seed. But uh, coming up next <laughs> at number five is my very own New York Shower Hammers, uh, fresh off an invigorating win uh, at the uh, Connecticut uh, Kickball <laughs> Open. Uh, uh, triumphing over the other four teams that were there. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're looking good for this tournament, and we're really excited. Um, uh, we now have two events under our belt, looking to put a third, and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we can put some work in. But we'll see. Great. like it. Admin, what do you got here for the 16th? Six seed, we got Inglorious Bastards out of Washington, D.C. Um, we are... I guess you can say part of old M2S, part of the others, part of IB from last year. Um, we've retooled a little bit. We got us some great talent. Uh, our girls are phenomenal. I'm so excited about the girls that are joining us for this event uh, who play with us now in D.C. But uh, it'll be good. We'll, um, I'm pretty sure you know it's we're in Pool B, which again we'll get to in a second. It, it, we'll see situation. I'm sure we'll see uh, shower hammers. Uh, so we, we might take some bets at the end of the podcast to see what the final score for that pool play game will be. Um, but I don't know if Oakley said it earlier, but it's, it's likely that all of these teams that we've mentioned or that we're going to mention are going to play four pool play games. Um, they have not announced the schedule just yet. Um, obviously, we'll have a link at the bottom that shows you where the thread discussion is in the forum. But um, Ivy's pretty good. We'll see. Uh, we lost. I don't know if you would say we lost Dan uh, from M2S going to Panic Attack. Um, but we've got a great squad, squad and we got great pitchers, so we'll see. We're looking forward to it. Um, this number seven squad, other shot callers, a little lower than I would have expected here. Uh, they're lower, but at the same time, they've retooled. You've got uh, Captain Bill, uh, former captain of the others, now of the other shot callers, because they merged with a team called Baller Shot Callers. They're good. They added a lot of new talent, a lot of soccer talent, not kickball talent, but... Uh, like I said, we scrimmaged last weekend, and they're good. Uh, they got some really good pitchers. Uh, Matt Wilner, uh, former pitcher of the others who won the Founders Cup in 2010, uh, is making it for this tournament. So if you haven't seen him pitch, definitely uh, go down and uh, watch him pitch a couple. He's pretty good. Great. Uh, as I, you know, I, I've uh, said before, and I'll say again, uh, you know, soccer talent. I, I think. 
gets uh, is is often rated highly going into these events. But it, you know, a soccer player is not a kickball player until they're a kickball player. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of outstanding uh, soccer guys that don't make the transition, don't care to, don't get invested, uh, and don't know base running rules. So yeah, well, yeah, uh, we'll base, say you know. Yeah, I was gonna say base, base running but, rules. Oh, sorry, Oakley. Base running rules, and then also just knowledge of the game and situation play. I mean, Bill's a great captain. Uh, he, you know, the others only existed for a year, and we won Founders Cup, so he, he definitely knows the game. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does with his new talent and gets him ready for uh, for tournament play. Right. Speaking Looking of um, new talent, we got Flying V coming in at number eight, hot team on the circuit. Right? I love these guys. Love them. Yeah, these guys are awesome. I I, I think this team is going to do uh, do better than uh, I, I. If anyone's going to be a sleeper here, I think it's going to be Flying V. Uh, I think they learned a lot from South Florida. Uh, they're super fired up. They've got a you know a nice group of people that are really invested. They've got a big group. They've got a, a two teams from the same group playing in two separate tournaments uh, that weekend. So I mean yeah. they they have a big pool of talent to draw from. Uh, they have a you know a lot of athletes in the group, and I think they're going to make some serious noise. Yeah, it's just another chance for them to to you know gear up, and then um, Georgia Circuit event in June is coming up. Uh, again, they're just going to continue to play the game and then hopefully have a chance to compete uh, come Circuit Cup time in October. Should be good. Yeah. I don't know much about this victory in the feet team, actually. Coming at, at number, what is it, nine? Yeah, out of Virginia Beach. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know what I've read on the boards, but unfortunately it's really hard to keep track of who's on what team in Virginia yeah. Beach. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like they're always in the mix, but... I don't know who who's in the mix or if they have all their good guys or they're you know if they're so uh, I don't know they I mean they they got a, a decently high seed over a couple of other teams that I, I know are are at least fairly decent so uh, they must have some some players but uh, I, I I can't say too much about them. I can't really either. I don't know I don't know even I don't know one player I don't think on that team. Well, what about uh, back, back in black. black. Uh, back in back black. In that, I think yeah. these guys are, are expecting to do uh, really well. They upset uh, Panic Attack in, uh, in uh, league play, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they, they are going to be missing uh, some really talented players, uh, in, including Larry, uh, who's playing with just TI squaring. So uh, we'll see if they're able to overcome uh, that missing talent. But it, it sounds like it's a lot of really excited guys who – uh, know how to play the game and and uh, have high expectations. So yeah. see what they can do. So what's um what's the deal with most Tussin admin from your area? Uh, Jelly Dogs team Mo Tussin out of DC. Uh, they're good. Uh, they've got quite a bit of talent that has tournament experience. Um, and then they're bringing a bunch of new talent. They'll be good. Um, I expect them to make a run or at least make it out of uh, single elimination, depending on who they get in pool play. Uh, if they get to see Fly and V uh, come first thing in the morning, they'll know what to do come tournament time. So Fly and V might have their hands full, but they'll be good. I don't think they'll win it, though, but they'll be good. Yeah. Another team coming in at 12 I'm looking forward to is the Emperor's Club. Yeah. These guys have been demanding respect for a while. I think they have a chance to earn it here. Uh, you know, I when uh, I was playing on uh, the Wu-Tang Killers last year, we played them. Uh, in the uh, in the last Virginia Beach tournament, and uh, they they played us pretty tight. I mean, they definitely know what they're doing. They got some some talent on the team. Um, I, I don't know if I don't know if they're they're deep enough to make a real deep run, but uh, they are definitely the kind of team that you have to watch out for and, and can't sleep on. Um, you know, they know how to play the game. They know how to score. Know how to make you pay for mistakes. Cool. All right. Uh, how about just for kicks? Who's that? You guys know anything about this team? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Out of Hampton. What? Uh, which? Uh, uh, which team is Kim's team? Uh, he released a, uh, a rather lengthy statement. Kim uh, dude is uh, Team the... Skittles. That's Team Skittles. Uh, and, All right. they, and they are from the U.S. of A. Outstanding. That is great news. Um, I, I I understand from skimming Kim dude's lengthy post on the uh, Kickball 365 forum earlier today that their team has. Something to do with tax fraud, a lot to do with binge <laughs> drinking, and uh, they plan to party their faces off the entire day. Yeah, I uh, thought it was a great post uh, by Captain. We'll just call him <laughs> Captain Kim, dude. Uh, I'm trying to pull it up over to the left, but um, yeah, they uh, 
<laughs> they're ready for it. They're ready to have a good time. And, and knowing those guys, they've been around. They're not, fr you know, it's not their first tournament, so they know what to expect. But uh, they're going to have a lot of fun. I'm glad they signed up to play. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. You know, it's teams like those, teams that come in having a good time, are playing loose. They're not nervous. They don't care what happens. Uh, and they, you know, end up getting some Ws in situations when they shouldn't. And, you know, just... It's part of kickball, man. If you come in tight and, and you're too nervous about stuff, you, you know, you make a lot of dumb mistakes. You, you, you just come in loose and just blast the ball, and yeah. uh, a lot of good things could happen. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they surprise some people, have a good laugh in the process. Yeah, and then coming in remotely, we've got Ad-Rock back. Hey, Ad-Rock. I made it. Hey, how's the weather down there or up there? Well, it was really crappy today. <laughs> it was like it's rain. It's Bad. I got woken up this morning from heavy rain. That's how bad it was. Wow. Yeah, I got woken up by uh, by deafening thunder this morning. So it's a rain all week. So we've gone through all the teams, um, and the pools. We'll we'll show the pools in a little graphic here. But uh, how about this, guys? Why don't you tell me um, for pool A? Uh, again, we'll show the list. Who do you think is going to make it out of pool A? Assuming four teams make it out, you've got Panic, Fully Loaded, Other Shot Callers, Flying V. Mo Tusson, victory and defeat, just for kicks and Team Skittles. Oakley, who do you got? Well, Panic Attack's a lock. Fully Loaded's a lock. Uh, other shot callers, admin, I'll take your word for it on uh, on on being having the guns to get out of this uh, pool. Uh, in in my opinion, Flying V is going to surprise a lot of people this tournament. Um, so I think they're definitely going to make it out. Um, I mean, if any teams in this pool are on the bubble, it's probably OSC and Flying V. But uh, to be honest, I you know I think uh, the the four top seeds are going to be the ones that advance. I yeah, cool. I agree. I agree with all those teams as well. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. Flying V, I think over Mo Tussin. Uh, I can't really speak for Jess for Kicks or Victor in Defeat. Um, Mo Tussin had a great SFKO. Um, so. We'll see if they put anything together, but uh, I think Panic, Fully Loaded, and OSC have just, you know, raw talent and just knowledge of the game. OSC is the only question mark, but I think they'll pull through. That'd and, be good. And then Pool B, Oakley, we got TI Squaring, Situation, Shower Hammers, Inglorious Bastards, Emperor's Club, and Back in Black. Which are your top four? Uh, well, I know my team's going to advance. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, With one it, loss, uh, right? What's that? Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, put your money where your mouth is, son. Um, we got. Uh, I think I, I got. I got to bet IB is going to advance. I mean, yeah. teams that are. You know, I, I think Ti Squaring is almost definitely going to advance. The situation did not advance out of the pool of death uh, in SFKO. Uh, I I don't know that that's indicative of their declining as a team. I I think that it is not. And I I, I last year at this time. Uh, they were in the finals uh, of uh, the last tournament in Virginia Beach. So uh, I think they're going to advance too. Uh, Emperor's Club, I think, is solid and uh, could cause some uh, mathematical problems for some of the other teams. Uh, Back in Black, I think, has high expectations, uh, and I think that uh, they, they plan to advance. Uh, but again, I see the, the top four seeds coming out of this, uh, coming out of this pool here. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, same teams. Uh, I had a TI Square situation, Shower Hammers, and IB uh, coming out. Um, I just don't think Emperor Club's ready. We'll see. I think they'll give some people some problems. Uh, I also agree with Oakley's situation. I just think they had an off off game, and when you have an off game in the pool they are in, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I forget the last game they had to win. To like move on, wasn't it like a crazy ending? It was crazy, Mo Tussin. Yeah, I remember. I remember it was some sort of wild ending that knocked him out. And it uh, they also game. had I think, something like twenty four or twenty five people in their kicking order. Yeah, uh, and I, if I remember talking to um, Lasalle, uh, they were just saying offensively they they were not clicking down there. So they're hungry. Uh, looking at the four, you know, I definitely think situation will advance their. They're extremely hungry after what happened down in Florida. Shower Hammers, IB, TI Squaring, um, they're, they're in unless for some reason they just have an event like what happened in Florida when IB or M2S played them and we, you know, bites out 13 or whatever to one or two, whatever it was. Hey, so I'm, I'm really curious. I haven't talked to anybody about that game. What, what happened there? 
Wow. Uh, errors, mental errors back and forth. Yeah. We were kicking lights out. Um, Caitlin, our MVP from Florida, I think she was three for three that game, which just kicks. Again, there's 10 people on the field and there's a bunch of holes. Uh, and when you got really good girls kicking and a lot of guys, you know, they're just too fast and can put it where they want, they're going to take advantage of it. Uh, do you remember who was pitching for that team? DeMattis. Mattis was. For the most part. I, th- I know they, they alternated every now and then, but uh, All right. I mean, the first and second inning killed him, and that was it. Right. But um, with Emperor's Club uh, Ad Rock, if Emperor's Club can get past the first two pools, the first two games in pool play, and not get stuck with the situation and not get stuck with shower hammers, I think they're okay. But I think if they get stuck with the two of them towards the end, it might be tough for them to get out. But we'll see. I think um, it really depends on how they're going to organize the schedules here. Yeah. Uh, Which should be posted probably today, and we're releasing this on the 18th. So hopefully they'll see it today. Yeah. I I think it will just be a matter of uh, who they end up facing, whether they make it or not. Strength strength schedule, the old-fashioned argument. All right. So Oakley – Final two teams in the, in the uh, single limb, or I guess two teams in the finals, who do you expect? And your winner. Uh, let's see. If we're picking, uh, if we're calling the pools the size of the bracket? Yeah, let's assume. All right. Uh, New York Shower Hammers over Panic Attack, 3-2. to two. Ad-Rock, you're not going to be there, but what do you think? I'm going um, Shower Hammers. Ooh. Hang on a sec. Shower Hammers in the final against uh, Flying V. I'm calling them out. <laughs> wow. Picking the long shot. Wow. The dark horse. And then I, I, I think New York's going to take the crown home. You think we're biased or what? Just a little. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll be honest and actually go with fully loaded, upsetting panic in the semis to get to the finals. So fully loaded against... Situation or IB, and the nah, I mean, the I think with a team this deep, it, I mean, with it with a tournament this deep, I, I I don't see the one and two seed being the, the teams that are in the finals. I think somebody's going to make a mistake. One one of these teams in the pack is going to have a great day, yeah. and th- there's going to be a surprise. I, I think one of those two teams will probably be in the finals, but I don't think it's going to be both of them. I mean. You guys, shower hammers are really good. IB, we're bringing thirteen, I think, and we're hungry just as much as the situation. And I think the situation is going to be lights out. Ti squaring, they're going to be good. They they're missing a couple players, um, but we'll see. I don't know. It's going to be. Are tough. they? It's, I don't think they're missing anybody. Aren't they missing uh, Sway's good? I don't believe so. I thought he was playing. Oh, I couldn't remember. I All New York wrong. final. Your information might be better than mine. All New York final. All New York fun. No, one thing I do have to say, though, I don't know if you guys have been keeping track, but I think Fully Loaded after Florida hasn't been playing where they were at. Really? I mean, they got smoked. They got mercy ruled by the meatballs about three weeks ago. I'm not, I mean, I'm not that and impressed. Ultra, right? Uh, well, yeah, no. a couple of things. I mean, getting mercy ruled by the meatballs doesn't necessarily make you a bad team. Does it, Adrock? Hey, ten nothing is in <laughs> right? So but, listen, uh, I mean, for the first first of all, I believe they had split a couple of their stronger players off to make uh, uh, to start another team, like a uh, like a farm team. Yeah, they're, they're uh, working on expansion down in Florida right so now. So I think they were missing uh, their leadoff guy and catcher, who you'd remarked was very good. I, I might be wrong. I, I, I we'd have to get Casey on to to speak to that uh, more definitely. I didn't know. Um, that. Yeah, Casey. So, well, um, yeah, I think I do. I think you're right. They did split their team, uh, and it was solely focused on expanding uh, ultra kickball down in Fort Lauderdale. But again, it's two opportunities for them to to grow new talent to send to the circuit, and uh, we're we're looking forward to it. I mean, I, I think they're a great team. I think they got a lot of potential. I don't think they're the the meatballs. I don't. They're not a lock for the finals. Uh, if they have a great day, they can beat these other teams. If they don't have a great day, they're not. I mean, the teams that are in the finals. Uh, Besides panic attack, could maybe have an off day and still and still advance, but uh, no other team here is going to have an off day in advance. So um, you know, I don't think it's anyone's a lock. But, hey, let's talk about LA a little bit. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Ad- Admin and I playing together for the first time. Yeah, with Blades, um, Jelly with Dog, Blades. 
No yeah, shoes. To, what are we, three hours ahead? Three hours ahead. That's the name of the team, yes. It's going to be good. Yeah, dude. Did you buy your jersey yet? Uh, no. Yeah, come uh, on, man. Heather Gray. Heather Get Gray. With it. Actually, Adam, how come you're not playing in this tournament? Uh, every year, Memorial Day weekend, for the past four years, uh, all my high school buddies and I get together and go uh, go on a trip somewhere. So That's awesome. Yeah. A Memorial hey, Day's book for eternity, I think. I would like to go on record as publicly objecting to holding tournaments on holiday weekends. Um, yeah. uh, Just so, going forward to the circuit, can, can, we start, so, can we start trying to like phase that out? So as a reminder, the circuit is run by um, – of the seven event or the eight total events, five of them are run by independent contractors. Right. Uh, and the question was at the beginning of the year, the only time we can get the fields in California was on Memorial Day weekend. So yes, mm -hmm. I agree with you. It is very difficult to try to put on an event on a Memorial Day weekend or any holiday weekend. Right. Um, the exception being, I call it a holiday Columbus Day weekend in October for Vegas. Um, but yeah, it's tough. Um, and actually the funny thing, and I was going to bring this up, um, I've coined a new phrase uh, specific to the LA tournament. So we've only got, I think, 10 teams, 10 to 12 teams that are going to be at this tournament in, in California. And the feedback we're getting from a lot of the local teams is not that the price is too high. It's not that it's a holiday weekend. It's, oh, we see Sofa King Good has signed up. We're not going to win. We're not going to even try. So I'm calling this the meatball effect of the West right now. <laughs> because oh, man. Off sofa king, maybe people will feel better about that, it. That actually has been some of the feedback, and not 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 knocking sofa king, but you guys are well aware. The last year on the boards, people were saying the same thing about panic attack and about the meatballs, but fairly quickly, people started realizing that you know if you don't want to compete with the best, then we don't want you to play. The circuit is bringing the most competitive teams in America, and this weekend you might get your asses handed to you by the meatballs. The following weekend, you might, you know, upset everybody. Um, you know, if you practice the game, play in a lot of tournaments, get better locally. Um, but yeah, we've been kind of surprised by the feedback we got for the LA tournament. Um, but yes, it's tough having this on a holiday weekend. Next year, we will not do that. Um, but still, we're really excited about the first circuit event in California this year. Um, best of the West Kickball uh, .com. I'll uh, post a link at the bottom. But it'll be good. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do the same thing uh, next week for that event. Uh, we're going to be, same thing with Virginia Beach, we'll be recording live from the event. Um, so you'll get to watch some of the games during the day, and then more than likely we'll have the semis and the finals being recorded uh, live on our Ustream account. So definitely watch if you're around on a Saturday afternoon. LA will be a little, it'll be three hours behind, but uh, check it out anyways. It'll be late. So, I, listen, I'm going to put in a request. I think that we need an additional piece of technology. Uh, for the tournaments that, that uh, Ad-Rock and you and I participate in, we need helmet cams. Yeah, <laughs> I have one. Dude, but, we uh, need them. We need either helmet cams or those sunglasses with, like, secret cameras in the middle <laughs> so that we can, like, rock out all day and, and get sweet footage. I agree. Uh, if anybody can put one together, I'll wear one. Um, all you need these days is a freaking iPhone uh, and Ustream. Uh, and anybody that wants to, uh, I'll, I'm happy to give you the account of the, of the live stream and you can broadcast or just give us footage and we'll show it on the podcast. So, you know, let us know. Um, we'll post it, that's for sure. Yeah, or, or back stream home. Get us your video, man. This is a chance to hype up your league. Show us how awesome you guys are. Show everyone who watches the show how awesome you guys are. So send it in, man. Let's see the highlight reels. Yeah. Speaking of highlight reels, the tropics is not coming to Virginia Beach. After that awesome conversation we had with Jeremy, uh, they Jeremy. were going to bring the tour bus, all these the calendar models, and now they're not coming. Yeah, I remember he said he wasn't going to come unless he could get the tour bus. It broke my heart, man. It broke yes. my heart. I took it personal. I did too. <laughs> I'm hurt. Well, hopefully we'll see them at, at Georgia, right? We think. Well, so they say. We'll see. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust it anymore. I don't think we're ever going to see him other than on a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. The tropics, we're calling you out. Yeah. We want you at a tournament. We want to see what you guys got, so bring it. Well, cool. Well, um, guys, I think we had a good one. Uh, looking forward to this weekend. Viewers at home, you know, give us feedback on the Facebook page. Uh, talk to us on Twitter. 
like Oakley said, send us your photos, your videos. You know, we're happy to stream them. Uh, and also, if you're open to it and available, we're open to calls during the show. Uh, so if you're interested, send us a note, um, info at kickball365.com or post on our wall, and we'll get you on the show. Let's bring it. Cool, man. All right. Hi, guys. Peace out, guys. Later. Kickballers and kickballerettes, this is the circuit we're talking about. It's not your daddy's country club. We are the competitive home for kickball in America. You've heard us talk about it. Kickball 365 produces the circuit, a collection of top flight competitive kickball tournaments and events where you can win money and prizes. You ready? Think your team can compete? Register today at thisiskickball.com. I go on and on and on and uh, we'll take them to the crib and let the bone in. Uh, easy, call them on the phone and uh, clap them Chanel cologne in. I stay dressed to impress, spark a bitch interest. Sex is all I expect because they watch TV.